Here we have a lovely 2005 1.6 streetcar, or KA as some people prefer to pronounce it. The last lady owner part exchanged it with me. She bought a motorhome off me. There was only room on the drive for two cars. In fact, she's only done 3,000 miles in this car in the last year. She's got a brand new Nissan Qashqai. So this was only ever brought out in the summer. She'd even just treated the roof with water repellent treatment last month. She was sorry to see it go, but husband insisted it's time for them to have a motorhome now. And they didn't have the drive space for three cars. So this had to go. No marks, dents or tears anywhere outside. It's got full service history. All the alloy wheels are nice. I'll quickly demonstrate the roof. I've undone the latches, one, two latches under there, one, two, very easy, just for ease while I've got on one hand with the video. So we lift it up like so. We open the door, there's a little catch here that releases that. And that just folds in there by hand. Hey presto. Down. You now have a convertible streetcar. These marks are just a bit of mud that I've just wiped off. And trust me, there's no marks on the car anywhere, no scratches, it's completely blemish free. It's even got the original streetcar. See, uh, carpets rather. So underneath, as you can imagine, all the carpets are like new. It's only done 33,000 miles. We've got the spur key there. We've got the service log. Service. These should be serviced at 12 and a half thousand miles intervals. However, it's been serviced at 8,300, 17,000. 22, 26, 29, and last year at 30,900. It's only done 3,000 miles more than that now. So this last lady owner, Mrs. Black, she bought a Rome home off me for £10,000 and part exchange this. I allowed a £1,750 in part exchange and that's all I'm asking for the car. It's just so I get my money for the motor home sold. Some various last MOTs going back verifying the low mileage MO, low mileage it's MOT till June next year 27th 2015 power steering pipe or hose slightly corroded so some surface corrosion just on the pipe steering pipe obviously no safety issue else it would have failed and front brake disc slightly warm I would suggest that's because of lack of use so a bit more use go for a new MOT I'm sure there will be no problem there whatsoever. Brake discs do rust up a little bit if they've not been used for a while. But again, it's only an advisor item. Remote control, central locking key. Lever steering wheel. Power steering. As I say, we've got an electric window working there. Passenger only works on that side, but easy enough to reach over. So, if you're that fussed, I would suggest you get a pack. I think they come as a double pack, unfortunately. These, so ah, now it's going up but not going down, so it's going up and down. Ah, well, we're only got half breath, right there. so you can wind it up, no problem. It's just the winding it down is the problem. Well, you can live with that, I'm sure. So just wind it down if you ever want it down. You've both got windows both down, and then if you ever want to wind it up, you can wind it up on the driver's side. So it's obviously something just on the downside on that. Okay. As I say, remote central locking, cigarette lighter, spur key, locking wheel nut.
And that's about all I've got to show you. Show you under the bonnet bay. Nice clean engine. It's not being power washed or cleaned by ourselves. That's just as it's come in. In fact, when I checked the oil for the return journey, I thought there was no oil in it. It is that clean. It is spotless. It is see-through. I say it's, on, it's been regularly serviced and was only serviced 3,000 miles ago. Always a good sign on the battery terminals when they've been in there. Service, good service. slip on the end no. there we are all in all a very nice bright car 1750 pounds delivered anywhere in the country free of charge all they ask is once you've paid for it only after you've seen it and you're happy with it is just to uh, give me a lift to the train station I'll just show you how to open the boot little trick here we open here the boot key is in here. There's the boot. Tool and jack there. And trust me, I have checked underneath there. There is a spur wheel underneath there with good tread. And inside the boot area is lovely.